So, Ellen, what have you learned in the last week? You can survive an attack. You can survive if they have a fire to keep you on. You don't need a heck of a lot to actually live, as long as you have a stove to cook on, which is a propane stove. You can cook on a fire if you need to be able to survive. You can survive on cold cuts. You don't need to have a refrigerator. You can have a floor. And it's actually pretty unique. I never went camping before, but I love it, and there's nothing more than going camping. I love Mother Nature. And all you need is an air mattress to sleep on. And you showed me somewhat how to put some wood in the, in the pit to have a fire. You put newspaper around to make a little ball, then we started making small twigs, and then we worked our way up the big wood. And our cat actually loves going camping with us too, which is amazing. Yep, my mom was right. Take the cat camp and put it on a leash. I put it on a leash for three days to teach the animal its territory. And the cat hasn't been on the leash much since, except for when we went out in the car. It's been free. And we've taken a pallet, broke it down for firewood. We have also taken pine needles for firewood, newspaper to start the fire. We've taken moldy wood and started a fire. And anybody that questions how quick society should, could or will fall apart, uh, I asked them to watch the series Jeremiah. And I watched them, asked them to watch the series Jericho. That's Jeremiah and Jericho. And it will show you how people react, except for I, I picked the side of goodness. Goodness shall prevail. Us good people shall win. Peace out, people.